I started riding at the age of eight years old, eight years ago. We went to this little recreational barn just outside of the border in Chazy, New York. It's where I learned all my basics and I fell in love with the sport. I wanted to start horseback riding after uh, doing a trail ride at a day camp who had it as an activity. As I got older and gained more and more experience, I was allowed to participate in lessons and I was given the role of lead line instructor. I was then also allowed to ride different horses with different level of experience making me learn and improve. I also participated in my first ever fair, not having much luck in the beginning, not placing or pacing very low. This all changed when I started to compete with a little pony named Dan and got my first ever second place. I then started to ride a pony named Alfie and he was my heart horse. Not long after, we decided we needed to change barn as it got too far to travel every day. This was a difficult decision as it meant I had to leave my poor Alfie. At this new barn, I learned all kinds of new things such as jumping, gymnastics, and all kinds of basics for jumping. I was also able to go up levels fairly quickly as I rode all kinds of different horses. Anything ranging from little ponies, large ponies, to big draft horse type horses. I then fell in love with a little howlfinger named Flirty. Together we learned loads and at the end of that summer we actually competed in a fair which we ended up placing sixth in which I was very proud. We also did a local Halloween costume which I won and I also learned to jump my first ever meter at this barn. We then decided to change barn as it was still too far. At that barn, I had made a friend who owned this little mare. Her name was Ginger. We did a lot of liberty work together and I spent the whole summer with her. I also found a new barn called Valle de Bois and I alternated that whole summer between Ginger and that barn. It was also during that summer that I found my current horse, Teddy. I was riding him as I was not competing and he had just gotten there and was very green. I fell in love with him, but still continued to ride different horses as I was still learning and didn't have quite a strong connection as I do now. I continued to ride Ginger, but I also made a new friend, Nayla, and I went up to her barn in Mont Tremblant. At that barn, we raised jumps and I learned to jump a bit higher with more technique. We also became very good friends. During that summer, it was also the time where I started riding a horse named Cleopatra. I rode her as she was recovering from an injury and her owner did not have time to ride her. She was always planned to be sold and she was a very feisty but lovable horse. At some point during the winter she was sold and I rode the naughty school ponies such as Skittles, who I love, and Wellington. I also eventually came back to Teddy as I was going to compete in the upcoming show season. During that winter, I also went up to Nailas, where I fell in love with little Nerius, a Hellfinger. I also did my Cavaliers 1-5 to with Marshmallow, which we passed. And it was also time to show prep for the upcoming season with Teddy. Our first show for him and me was at Blainville, which we ended up getting a 6. Then it was at home at Valley des Bois, which was the first show where we placed in all of our classes. Then during that summer, we continued to practice and improve our technique. We also learned to get our lean changes during that time. Then it was time for the next competition, which was Simi. To date, that was still one of our best courses and it was the first time we ever got a first together. During that summer, I again went up to Nela's and I jumped the highest I had at that time, which was a meter. Then it was time for the last competition of the season where I got a champion and it was the best placing and the best show ever. That ended to be one of the best show seasons I had ever had. With show season ending, I rode another little pony named Olaf who was very green as well I went up to Nailas again and we jumped the highest I have ever jumped to date which added up to be a meter 10 with my golden pony, Nerius. During that time, me and Teddy also solidified our bond and he became more trusting of me than he had ever been before. 
During the winter that followed, I had an especially tough time, but Teddy was there by my side, making me smile. I also went up to Nayla's and couldn't ride my golden pony as he had developed asthma, but rode Oliver and actually considered competing him. But in the end, I decided to go and do another year of competition with Teddy. During that season, we decided to do the three-foot chasse enfant, and we actually placed fifth in one of our classes for that first show. We then did another show at Valley des Bois, which we placed in all of our classing classes, getting a third, a fourth, and another fourth. During that summer, I also rode Mr. Mackenzie at Nela's and competed in semi, placing again in all of our classes. Then we continued to practice for the next show season, trying to improve everything before getting uh, the sad news that he was for sale. I was completely devastated and decided to stop horseback riding, but some few special people around me made it possible in, for me to buy Teddy, and that was the happiest day of my life. We then decided to move Teddy in an environment that was much calmer so he could be happier. He lived with a bunch of other horses and he's outside in a big field. Now me and Teddy are just having fun and seeing where things go. I'm excited to see what's in store for us in the future and excited to have him by my side.